In this video, we're going to talk about how the house behind me captures heat energy out of the attic, pumps it underground, and gets access to it six months later in a system called annualized geosolar. Today I'm at a client's property just north of Calgary and I'm going to show you one of the most exciting projects that we got to work on last year. Behind me uh, is our client's house and inside of it we installed something called a geo solar storage system. So essentially what we do is we take hot air from the attic once it gets to a certain temperature, we pump it underground and we store it and because of the way that it's insulated that heat won't come back out of the ground for six months. So heat that we store in May doesn't come back out until October. The house that my client purchased is a prefabricated house. And these prefabricated, ready to move buildings are known for having really poorly insulated skirting. So one of the design criteria that we had to accomplish was ensuring that we had a really solid uh, insulative skirting package. Now, the reason that this is really important for geosolar is that we didn't want any of the heat that we are capturing to escape out the side of the house. In addition to putting skirting around the house, we also wanted to put a horizontally insulated foundation, which is essentially means we put expanded polystyrene out four feet with an R value of 15. That's equivalent to going down vertically six feet. And essentially what that does is it prevents frost from coming underneath the house. But doing it this way means that we don't have to dig a giant hole. I'm sitting next to the pressure release valve that we've installed into the skirting so that when the geosolar system is running, air can escape from underneath the crawl space through this little vent here. Let's go inside and take a look at the guts of the system. Just underneath the house right now and behind me, we have the control panel, which is what senses the temperature up in the attic and tells the fan to turn on or off. And behind that, we have the fan. And the fan is the extraction unit that pulls the hot air out of the attic and pushes it underground. So underneath me is the annualized geosolar system. It is basically an insulative cap. And underneath that cap, we have the inlet manifold, which receives all the hot air the conveyance pipes which go from the inlet to the outlet and then the exhaust which comes out of the outlet and exhausts into the space that I'm in right now which is actually very warm. We also invested in a series of temperature alert Wi-Fi temperature probes which measure both temperature and humidity in over 11 different locations in the house and this gives us real-time temperature monitoring online and it's absolutely fantastic. I think that roofs can be used for a lot more than just keeping water off of our houses. I think we can use them for rainwater harvesting, solar photovoltaic and solar thermal collection, as well as we can use the attics, which are basically just giant solar air collectors, and we can move that solar air into all sorts of unique places and in unique ways to store that energy for our heating season. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave any questions in the comments field below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're interested in finding out if you can put one of these annualized geosolar systems into one of your buildings or homes, get in touch with us at vergepermaculture.ca.